Hello and welcome to a video with me, Raindell. Uh, today is day two of our MR only uh, versus Yuna challenge. So what we're doing is we're going to Arena and trying to fight teams with a uh, level 120 Yuna, ideally one with a maxed out Bahamut and then a level 99 Sakura with them. Uh, and we're trying to find a way to beat those teams reliably with MR units. Um, yesterday, I got two wins, three losses. Overall, not bad, considering we're running all uh, MR units. Uh, but with the learnings that we have had yesterday, we're updating our team a little bit today, and we are hoping to go for a better win ratio. Uh, so, uh, what are our changes? Um, well, the first thing is, I realized that Marial really performs well, better than I expected, so I invested in her a little bit more. Uh, she now has a maxed out resonance with Aigayan, and I leveled her magic resist uh, buff and taunting blade. Uh, quite a bit, so she has more stats overall. And also, she will be wearing a um, magic-based vision card now, so she was already doing decent damage using Fenrir, uh, like she had yesterday. Uh, but today we'll give her the uh, Ramu card, so she has more magic, and we'll give Fenrir to a physical attacker. And uh, so that's our second change. We are uh, kicking Livial out of the team. I wanted Livial for healing more than anything. And uh, I'm learning now that her AI focuses on attacking. If she can cast a spell on someone, she'll do that all the time. She will not heal unless she can to reach an enemy. Uh, but arithmeticians have a ton of range, so she can always reach enemies, basically. Uh, so with that in mind, she's not a good fit for, for our team. So I'll replace her with Shadowlings. And then you might be thinking, uh, but Shadowlings will just get one shot by light magic attacks. Yes, she will. We need her to stay away from Marial so she doesn't get hit by AoE. But I did some uh, tests. I have quite a bit of experience running Shadow Links, and I'm expecting her to hit Yunas and Sakuras for three to five thousand damage, depending on their defense and then which move she's using. So she can deal pretty serious damage and possibly one punch Sakura in the right setup. So that's what we're hoping to see. Um, and that's even without many vision cards that support her damage, just using Fen Fenrir, because she's one of the MR units with the highest base attack. Uh, she has a drawback of uh, lacking defense penetration, but we're attacking mages, not characters with a lot of defense, so it's not the end of the world. And then Elshra performed really well, uh, but she never used her TMR ability. And I'm thinking we might get some value out of some other TMRs. So I want to try Mashari's TMR, possibly Venera for the Light Eater, or Garvel for um, the extra magic and then uh, magic penetration. But since we're mainly using slash attacks, I'm thinking that Venera's and Mashari's will be the best fit. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I don't know if her AI will just go for the attack or will actually heal. So it'll be a learning experience for us. Um, so with that in mind, let's begin fighting! Alright, so for our first battle, we were unable to find a Bahamut Yuna. So we have a 120 Yuna with not maxed out vision cards, coupled with two other 99 light units. Overall, pretty good team, but not a perfect one. Uh, but since we made some pretty heavy changes to our setup, I'm kind of happy to be fighting this first and uh, see if we need to make adjustments. Uh, so let's go in. And uh, one thing that's important to say is we have put a TMR on Shadow Links that gives her an AoE buff, so that on her first turn she doesn't move forward too much. If we didn't do that, she would die uh, right at the beginning. Uh, but we're having an issue here where she crosses over and buffs Marial, which means Marial cannot give magic resistance to Elshra. And now Elshra might die! Uh, so I'm not happy with that outcome, actually. I'm starting to think that this might not be the best DMR. Uh, so we'll make some adjustments as we go. Uh, so here, they have extra magic attack, and if Yuna can reach Elshra, she will probably one-shot her with her limit break right now, because we only have a uh, low amount of magic resistance. Uh, but let's see how it goes. We also have uh, Thief Lore now on uh, Marial, which means she has a lot more movement, so that's a good thing for us. And here we have um, our Dragoon in the air, that's good. Marial is going to be taking that energy ray, but with magic resist, it won't really hurt her, even if she is low on HP right now. So that's also doing good. See, one damage, perfect. And then 3000 on Elsra, which is, uh, sorry, on uh, LC, which is very much fine. We almost one punch Yuna, uh, but it's barely not enough. And now 
we'll probably lose uh, everyone on our team aside from Marielle. So overall, not good. The way we grouped was really bad. Okay, somehow Shadowlink survives. I did not notice, but I think she dodged a couple hits here. So Yuna's dead, good. Um, and for some reason, Re-Raise is on, I think, Sakura. So that's not the end of the world. Um, let's see what happens. So Mariel is not in range to use one of her high uh, damage abilities, but still, we kill Sakura uh, once, re-raise procs, but that interrupts her casting, so that's pretty important for us. And now, almost 2.5k with a basic attack from Shadowlings. Alright, we win. Um, we have some trouble with our grouping, so I might want to change the TMR on Shadowlings. I was using... Uh, Miranda's TMR, but I think I'll change that for Reigns, because that way she won't be able to reach Marielle and buff her. So let's try that out. Alright, so for our second match, we have a revenge match against uh, our Lady Agrius here. Uh, again, I'm very scared of getting silenced early on. That's what happened yesterday, and it was tragic. But it's still a good enemy, right? They have a maxed out Bahamut, maxed out Vow of Love, maxed out Trousseau, so overall, it's a good test of our abilities. We just really need to avoid getting silenced. And also she has 30 spirit and uh, a pretty good magic resist. So killing her will be very hard uh, and she has low faith. So yeah, we'll have a lot of trouble killing Agrius. That uh, might be the whole reason we lose. Uh, but I want to see this team in action. It seems like the um, our opponent here is built to fight other light magic teams. Um, so how do our MRs perform against that is what we want to see. Um, so first turn, let's hope Shellings doesn't cross the other side. She still does, even with the uh, uh, Guardian Fighting Spirit. So she's really not behaving the way we want her to. Uh, the Magic Resist buff is nice on her uh, as well, but I really need um, Elshra to survive. Like She's our best damage dealer and she can deal AoE damage. So if she's moving forward without her buff, uh, I'm very scared of her uh, chances of survival. Uh, so let's see, we get the Quicken off, that's very good. It means Marielle will now be in front. Um, she'll be using bells, which is also good. Uh, and at that point, the everybody's just kind of spread out to the right in the enemy team. That's a bit weird. So we have some attack up, why not? Uh, the enemy still can't hit us for some reason. The way they've positioned is a little bit weird. Uh, but let's see. Eternal Pain will probably take uh, Elshra out because she doesn't have Magic Resist buff. Um, nope, she survives. Okay, pretty good. So Hazard Slash does not kill the enemy Sakura though. So not a super good scenario because now she can heal back up. Uh, and that's the thing, when we're fighting these teams, they have access to so much healing that it's almost impossible for us to, uh, to kill them uh, if Yuna gets a turn. So now we have somebody in the air, boom, not a kill on Yuna still. So that's two hits that Yuna took right now uh, and still didn't go down. I think we're going to lose this uh, just because they are tankier than our average setup. Um, so yeah, Light Blade, one damage. Uh, Marielle's pretty, pretty resistant to most uh, attacks that uh, the enemy team can do, uh, but she's not strong enough to take out the enemy team members by herself. Uh, so now we are jumping on Agrius, which is not really good. Agrius has a ton of tankiness. And then Mariel's disabled, so yeah, this is looking like a very uh, tragic loss for us. Uh, mainly because uh, we can't get Shadowlings to act the way we want her to. Um, let's see if we can make other changes for her, but otherwise we might have to put her on the bench and replace her with somebody else, uh, because she prevents... Um, our Elshra from getting magic resist. That is not what we want. All right, so this time Yuna, Engelbert, and Sakura. We did some tweaking on the TMR that Shadowlings has so that we can finally get um, our buffs on the right people. So uh, that was a, a pretty huge deal for us. Uh, but let's see how we can make that work. And then uh, they have, of course, maxed out the Hamid, but the other cards aren't maxed. So their team could have some improvement, uh, but it's still one of those high threat teams with a super strong Yuna. So overall, I'm happy to challenge this one and see how it goes. Um, so, uh, and also we're fighting another high defense enemy, so Shadowlinks will not provide much to us. We really need to find matchups where they don't have a physical tank. 
Otherwise, she uh, she does some damage, but honestly, she's not doing anything incredible for us. Uh, so there we go with a cast re-raise on Engelbert. So he's going to be there twice. Uh, and Engelbert is a pretty decent attacker. So if he begins hitting Marial, he's probably going to do uh, much more damage than anyone else would. Um, good start, we do get Bells off. That's a pretty huge deal. Uh, but on the uh, drawback side, our Marial moved in a pretty weird way and she's not really in a position to tank for anyone right now. Uh, so I'm a little bit afraid of what Sakura might do. I hope Sakura can hit um, Marial from there. Uh, but she just doesn't get a turn. So okay, problem solved. Elshra takes her out. Now that's probably Enhanced Holy, and even with Magic Resist, that has Dark Killer on, so I'm not sure that uh, Shadowlinks has any chance of surviving that. Oh well, only half her HP. Alright, never mind, Shadowlinks just tanking it like a pro. Uh, yeah, the power of Spellblades is really an impressive thing. And then, yep, 4000 damage on Yuna, that is pretty good, but Yuna will get another turn before Shadowlinks goes again, so she'll heal back up to full, probably. Uh, can Marial finish someone off? Uh, yeah, well, Courage is procced, so that's one good thing. And then Yuna heals back because that's what Yuna does. Shadow Lynx is in the air, but Yuna finishes... Oh, full life. Interesting. So she's not healing herself. Instead, she's bringing back her nuke. Uh, but the nuke is hitting Marial. I don't care much about that. Go ahead. You'll do three damage. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, she has magic resistance penetration, so it was a bit more than three. Uh, now we prog the re-raise, so Anglebird's back for his second life as well. Uh, that's an enemy team with a ton of different lives. Like, we can kill them so many times before the fight's actually over. But hey, nah, I can't complain. That's fighting Yuna. That's how it is. Now, taunting spell. We finally take Anglebird out. Uh, and no Aeon Bond this time from uh, Milady Yuna. So that's another good thing. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, so she's healing. That's kind of unfortunate. I want to take them out eventually, but if they keep healing, it's going to be difficult. This will kill Yuna, though, definitely. Uh, 3,000? Okay, 2,000 damage. Enough to kill her. And now it's only a matter of time before we win, because we have a lot of hate on Marial, and they don't really have a way of killing her with magic attacks. So 3,000 damage here, and then Shadow Lynx finishes her off with uh, whatever move she decides. Okay, Odin, so guaranteed hit. We know it's over. Uh, let's still watch that cool animation, though. Uh, and I gotta say, those Esper animations and Limit Burst animations are really cool. Uh, bingo, pow, 5,000. That would have been a one-shot hit, actually. Uh, and she's dead. Okay, looks like we found a recipe that actually works. All right, this time I'm a little bit uh, disappointed. Our enemy is not a 120 Yuna, it's a 119 Yuna. I think it passes though. Uh, so, uh, maxed out Bahamut, maxed out Fenrir, so we're, we're gonna need to hit them with slashing attacks and not uh, magic attacks. And then Trousseau. So, overall, lots of damage. I'm scared of um, Elsie killing us, but since she's using this weapon, I'm not that threatened. Like, she'll probably not one-shot us with her physical attacks. Uh, so, let's just see how it goes. Um, and now that we've tweaked our beginning the right way, I think we've got a pretty good shot here. Because um, even if they boost their magic resistance, even if they do that, as long as they're hitting Marial, they're not gonna kill anyone. So, the biggest threat is really the threat of having um, the Sakura hit everybody with her limit break, but as we've seen in previous fights, now that we're using resist magic on everybody, um, she's not killing us in one hit. That's the uh, the beauty of it. Uh, and even Shadowlinx, uh, she is one of the rare physical attackers that doesn't begin with a magic weakness. She's uh, neutral against magic, so with the setup we have, um, Magic Resist and then Fenrir, she has over 50% magic resistance, uh, which is enough uh, to compensate for her uh, weakness against light. Uh, so here we go, they have a lot of defensive buffs, they have dark and light resist, so it's gonna take us a while before killing the enemy team. Uh, but the real question is, how long will it take them to kill our team? Uh, so, okay, bad start. We're getting the limit break from Sakura on uh, everybody. Let's see if we actually survive it. Yeah, so Shadow Lynx loses about half her HP. Marial doesn't lose any HP. And this is still enough to kill them through Thunder's protection. So 
Uh, I'm very impressed with what Elsra did there. That was a pretty good move. Uh, we hit her, but a unbond, and then that's probably the full life coming in on, it seems, Elsie Rel. Uh, the way their Elsie Rel is built with the Reigns weapon, I'm kind of... I don't think she'll kill anyone in one hit. Uh, but let's see, maybe I'll be surprised and I'll learn a new way to build her. And now small practice. So now Yuna's used her best tools to help people survive. Uh, but she's also uh, given protect to everybody. Not enough to save uh, Elsie though. We can hit so hard uh, that it doesn't really matter. So this is going to be Banishka Blade, probably half of Yuna's HP. A little bit less thanks to the shell. Uh, and now can Shadow Links kill her? That's the big question. Oh, look at that. That is tragic. So she barely survives. That had to be like 20 HP she had left. Uh, and that's all thanks to the Protect and Shell that she gave herself with Smile Practice. So if you are wondering how strong those TMRs are, uh, now you know. They are game-changing. Uh, and now we know we can't take her out with two attacks. We need three attacks as long as that TMR is there. Um, so I am learning that Smile Practice is a major game changer uh, with her. So she goes back to full life again. That's what Yuna does. We can fight her and try to kill her as many times as we want. She doesn't care for it. Uh, but at least she has only one more turn until that damn smile practice expires. So, unavailable pain, we finally lose Marial. Uh, and can she lap Shadow Links? No. Well, yeah, she could lap her, but not finish her spell in time. So that means we win. Or do we? Who had the re-raise on their team? I don't remember. Uh, oh, don't tell me the emulator crashed because of the Esper summoning. Okay, I'll pause this and tell you guys if we won by looking at our win streaks. Okay, this time, interesting enemy team. They're running uh, Yuna's TMR on Sakura, so she might be healing her team. And also, they have slash resistance, so uh, our one-shots will probably get a bit tougher uh, coming from Elshra. Uh, so let's see how it goes. Um, and today, I'm actually doing more matches because the uh, the first matches that I did, the first set, was pretty tough. I had to do a lot of tweaking to get Shadowlings to do what I wanted her to do. Uh, and also, we fought Warrior of Light a couple times and he just took our team out uh, by building Light Chains before Sakura's Limit Burst. Uh, so overall, it was pretty rough. Uh, but let's see how it goes now. Um, the last matches have been pretty interesting, so while the beginning was rough, now that we've uh, got our early turns set up, if we can get our um, resist magic on everybody, we are uh, usually peachy. Uh, let's see, so Quicken on Marial. Marial's not near anyone, so she's gonna use Bells this time. I love it when she does, because she has a very surprising amount of damage, uh, but magic resistance is more important, so we kind of have to pick our priorities here. That will not kill um, Elshra normally because of the magic buff, but still pretty impressive damage. Like She did that through 60-something magic resist on Elshra. Uh, it's still pretty crazy that a healer reviver uh, can uh, do that much damage, uh, which is also a guaranteed hit, because why not just pile every single thing you could give a character? Uh, and oh, lucky, no A on Bond, but can Marial finish her off? Yes! Great. So we took Yuna out, and she doesn't have re-raise. I think that's the win, right there. So Eternal Pain will kill Elshra and deal basically no damage to Marial. Um, I'm sad to see Elshra go, but honestly, like, we took out Yuna one for one. I'm uh, giving us a pretty good shot here. So that will probably kill Sakura. There we go. Sakura death. And then was um, Elsirel the one with re-raise? I think so. Uh, oh, just not enough damage. So that's pretty sad, because she's gonna heal back up a little bit, but I think Shadow Link still has the damage to take her out. So, death number one comes back to life. Marial is next, though, so that's gonna be death number two for sure. Uh, Marial is really surprising me. At 89, she's such a good unit. Alright, so another one here. Again, Elshra, Sakura, Yuna, pretty strong team. Uh, and if we look, they still have Max al Bahamut, but this time Envious Magician and uh, Secret Order. So a little bit different, and Secret Orders means that um, Elsorel will be pretty fast on their team. Uh, so hopefully she uh, uses this 
turn to buff her teammates and not rush forward because if she <laughs> rushes forward she's screwing up our early turns completely and that might lead to a loss as we've seen in other matches. Uh, so let's go. Okay, she buffs. That's good. And also concentration. Why not resist magic? But I guess uh, they want her to hit pretty hard. So that's it. We've got a good turn one. They're probably gonna have Thunder's Protection on everybody, so I'm not expecting us to one-shot them, uh, which is unfortunate. Nope, she went for offense. That's still a lot of threat, but uh, we know that with all our magic resistance, they will not take um, even Elshra out in one hit. So, and that's the most important. If Elshra gets one huge Hazard Slash in any fight we do, we usually wins it. Like, when I look at the fights, that's generally our win condition. Can Elshra get her first massive hit? Uh, so Taunting Spell? Okay, we lost a bit of HP. Oh, I think we'll lose, actually, Elshra there, because she took the Taunting Spell. Now she's taking this Limit Break, and she'll also take Sakura's Limit Break right after. Okay, that was enough to kill her. So, uh, yeah. We, I went from being very optimistic to being very pessimistic because, again, Elshra didn't get to use her ability, so I'm thinking we lose this. Oh, wow, 5k damage. So I was going in there all confident about our win, but actually, we're getting wrecked. Uh, LCRL has so much damage. Wow, okay. Uh, so yeah, this one is not going well at all. I have some trouble understanding sometimes the damage LCRL does. Like in some fights, she's incredibly strong, and in some other fights, she barely hits like a wet noodle. All right, so let's quickly show you the team today. So we made some changes, uh, but really that's uh, Marial. I'll just show you the stats detail. Uh, that's the main thing we leverage is her high magic resistance and also pretty high HP. Uh, and now she has seven something magic, so that's uh, much better than what she previously had. Now, not much change to uh, Elshra, she has the exact same stats as last time, we're just trying to out new TMRs, but since she prioritizes Quicken, she's not really making use of any TMR ability. And then finally, we're using Shadowlings, and it was really important for us to use uh, Rain's TMR and Shikuchi, because with the 5 move, that's the way she can get to Marial on turn 1 and not block the way between Marial and Elshra, so that we can get magic resist on everybody. And also, we have only, like, we don't have any attack support, and she still has 850 attack, so very impressive overall stats from Shadowlings. She's one of the um, MR units with the highest offensive capabilities um, at her base. So that's our team. So, day two, how did it go? Um, well, but not as well as I would have thought. Like, seeing our results in day one, I was really hoping that in day two we would just win every fight. Uh, but there were some complications, and while the ideal enemy setup uh, we win against most of the time, we're still having trouble with some variations. Like, if Warrior of Light is in, we're done. Um, and then sometimes we uh, we group a little bit too much, and then we just all get AoE'd. So uh, we still have some things to figure out, but we're making progress. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It will make it more likely that you see my content in the future. And then, yeah, please let me know any other updates you'd like to do, I'm reading all your comments and some of your suggestions are really useful to me. Um, yeah, if you <laughs> have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching.